see if anyone shows up here. <laughs> oh, look who's in here. Action kid. We, we did it. Can you guys hear me okay? Is this okay? I'm not using my headphones. Can you guys hear me all right? Pierre, you stuck it out, you son of a gun. Can't believe it. You're actually stuck around. I wonder if I should go back to the area where I was before. You think I? You think that's like a no man's no, land? Try it. Yeah. Wait for people to trickle in here. Sound and video okay? What a concept! It actually works. Yeah. Hi, right, Danny. Kind of want to get out of like this area with all these people. Buenos Aires, che boludo, bienvenidos. Gotta wait for them. Finally, glam girl next door, 707. Waiting for a few people to trickle in. 21, there we go. Yeah. OMG, Tom is live. Holy Lord. Stop the presses. What do you think? Should we go just walk? Yeah, what do you want to do? Let's go back to where you were before. Yeah, we're, I was going to go through this way. Oh, yeah. I'll just wait for a few more people to trickle in and we'll walk. I'm gonna wait till I show them when there's more people here. Okay. Where are we walking today? We're in Lower Manhattan. I'm waiting for a few more people. I know I had over 140 for a brief moment earlier, and then I totally screwed it up. We were on for about six and a half minutes before it all went to hell. You know where I was? Is where the uh, the customs house is. Adrian Elizondo, bienvenidos. They thought you're not paying the customer. I from Poland, uh Jindobri. Ap Jindobri uh, Apoteca uh, Kava. I from Scotland. Hold on, let's see. 37. Alright, we got people tripling in. We're gonna I'm here with a friend of mine actually. I don't know if you guys recognize this guy here. Look who it is. <laughs> Look who it is. <laughs> He's uh he saved me. Yeah, I played tech support today. So this is a t this is my tech support uh, <laughs> here in Lower Manhattan. Uh, now we're just hanging out here. We're gonna be doing a little walking here, and you know Ken's free to leave whenever he wants. You know he was actually he just saved the day. We were taking out SIM cards and hanging I out. I here. still don't know how he fixed it. I still don't know how to fix it either. <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make a, de a trip to uh, I'm gonna be making a trip to AT and T. You better believe it. They're gonna be getting an earful from me. <laughs> um, so yeah. What should we do? Should we walk? Yeah, let's go. It only took you an hour. Yeah, it did, foolhardy. All right, chill out. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing here, so. Uh, let me see, let me, should we turn this around? Walk? Yeah. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna go, guys. So what we're doing is we're actually in Lower Manhattan right now. Look at this guy. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> we're in Lower Manhattan, we're next to City Hall right hey, here. What is that thing, find a face? Yeah, what is that? I don't know what that is, I've never seen Probably that find before. your face? Yeah. Because he can do like special effects on it if you want. Change, I have no idea what change. we're doing. Who knows? Well, anyways. Way to get rid of it? Let's see. Next. I think it's... I think that's it. You guys are just killing time since uh, just waiting for me to come back, huh? Well, hopefully I don't let you guys down. Do you want to walk this way? Yeah, let's go. Ken, you know, don't feel obligated. If you want to, if you want to take off, feel free to take off whenever. But it'd be great to hang. Yeah. I want to get rid of this find a face thing. It's weird. So, guys, I'm using the Prism app, and I don't know. Oh, there it is. Oh, is that it? 
There we go. Oh, because you know why? Why? It's a beauty filter. Oh. Yeah, you have Is that it why it looks so good on it? Is that why my no, face no. looks so good? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why my face looks so yeah. flawless? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get the hell out of here. It's kind of crazy. There's actually a uh there's a uh like a rally or something over there. And uh we're just gonna go um Emilio, guys get please get in touch with Tim Dillon. Yeah, actually, no Tim, Tim Dillon. He's actually the guy who got me started in tour guiding, believe, believe it or not. He uh, he helped me, like, take the exam and everything. He was a tour guide here on the buses for a while. And uh, and he actually got me started doing this stuff. Really nice guy. I was good friends with him before he left L.A. And now he's in Austin. All right. What's up, everybody? We're just waiting for the crosswalk. This yeah. is what, what uh, sick bros do in New York. I know. And you uh, got uh, three different lenses, too. Yeah, we got three different lenses. Wait, on the front? On, on this the side? Rear. On the rear, right, right, right. Rear. On the rear, I can go wide and stuff. Wide, normal, and telephone. Let's go. Yeah, this is wide right now. Yeah, that's what I want, right? Yeah. Well, it kind of looks a little bit distorted on the oh, wide. Okay. The normal lens is a little better. For All right, let's do it. We're when is this freaking light going to change? I'm wondering. Yeah, All right, yeah. so yeah, we got people from Austin. Great. We got people from uh, Mexico. Ah, mi gente de Mexico. Acabo de regresar de Mexico. Estuve en la ciudad en DF. All right, let's keep moving. Let's go. Yeah. The issue with prison, though, is uh, this, you can't monetize the live stream unless you go into the settings. like Into the lives. actual... Well, yeah. Do you need to monetize the YouTube uh, the YouTube uh, lives? And you don't have to right away. You could do it like... I guess the reason I ask is because, like, uh, is that, like, are they... Because people don't watch them as much as the other ones, or how does that work? No, no, people do watch them if they get into it. You guys are listening to Ken uh, school me on all this. Yeah. This he's guy new right to here. It, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm very I'm just new. happy he's able to go live without. Pretty embarrassing. Oh, guys, look at that. We're at the Woolworth building. Look at that butte. Look at the butte right there. I'll stick around for 10 minutes just in case something else happens. <laughs> Ken's here to troubleshoot. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, so we're in we're in City Hall Park. We were actually, I was in um, Lower Manhattan earlier. I was in Wall Street area before, but uh, it was a total disaster, so I just left. And uh, now I'm, I'm joined by my friend Ken here, yeah. Action Kid. You guys may recognize him. I helped out a little bit with tech support, but hanging around just in case something else happens. Yeah. So we're gonna. Well, don't worry. We'll get we'll get started here in a second. Um, but yeah, we're we're in uh, we're in Lower Manhattan. I'm trying this thing out for the first time ever. So chill out and take it easy. Uh, Kissimmee, Florida. Cool. Welcome. I'm from Tampa. I oh, you still got my postcard. All right. Hello from Ireland. All right. This is great. We've got a lot of people popping in. 84 people. 84 people man isn't that insane that's insane that's insane i mean it's i think i'm probably at the top of youtube right now yeah i've probably won youtube with 84 people that's almost me a and, broadway show right? that's a broadway exactly it's like me and logan paul <laughs> with 84 people uh check it out there it is the Woolworth building we all know about the Woolworth building 1913 the blue top was copper originally which is kind of cool that's why it's green but uh they took the, the metal off during uh during world war ii and then they just painted it green Hi from Rio de Janeiro. Ah, legal. Obrigado. Hi from East Village, Nora. Hey, how's it going? Uh, 97 right now. Oh, hell yeah. Make sure to smash the like button. <laughs> That's right. Smash the like button, everybody. Hey, what's up, fam? Yeah. All right, let's keep moving. We got a nice view here of the... Uh, of the uh, municipal building it's also hey ken what's that statue on top of the municipal building that's a statue of liberty. that's the statue of liberty you heard it here <laughs> ken, no, ken, no that's the statue of liberty <laughs> too late ken already just told you guys on the statue on top of the municipal building that statue right up there 25 feet that is the statue of liberty right there on top right see it that's the statue of liberty they just made it gold yeah, you're here to hear. You're here to hear. You, well, you can quote him, and you can quote him. That's the Statue of Liberty. So now, how do I like? If I want to zoom out, how do I zoom out? Oh, you just pinch. Oh, so, yeah. All right, there we go. Yeah. Uh, I think I got it. That's pretty good, yeah. right? Pretty simple. It's just starting it and troubleshooting. That was the hardest. This was a nightmare. This is an absolute nightmare, guys. Um, I, I did it though. I did it. 
So it's just me and Ken here. Yeah. And uh, I think we're, uh, I don't know. I'm going to do this for a little while and see how it goes. Yeah, we've been live uh, 10 minutes already. I know, 10 minutes. Isn't that insane? I'm already exhausted. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you got anything to say to the people here? Man. There's 118 118 people. people wow. Ken. 118 people. Let me know when you get to those insane numbers. Yeah. Um, Look at that. Ken's just playing around in the thousands of people. Uh, <laughs> I've got 118. There's still a lot of people, 118 people. Yeah, it's also quality, not quantity, I'd like to think. Uh, these are all quality people, right? Yeah. Uh, foolhardy queso. Um, how to mute the audio. Copyright is a huge issue when you hear music. Someone, yeah. someone wants to know how do you mute audio. Oh, yeah. I hope that's not a dig on me. I hope you're not <laughs> asking how to mute audio because it's me. Yeah, mute because of his bad jokes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, all right? If you don't like my jokes, get out of here. Oh, what, you got you got an answer for this guy? Yeah, you gotta do the three dots and then mic on, camera on. So then I would turn off the mic when I'm walking by, let's say, you know, if like U2 is playing in the street. Yeah, you can. And, I, and they're playing Sunday Bloody Sunday or something, I don't want to yeah. get copyrighted. Or if you don't want to show something, camera off. You know? Oh, okay. Yeah, like if someone's taking a piss, you go, look. Oh, you know, gotcha. Yeah. Unless it's uh, advertised as video of people peeing in New York. Yeah. In which case, my viewers would skyrocket. But I ain't about to get the lowest common denominator, so. Uh, all right. Well, what do you think? Ken, you want to walk or you uh, you got stuff to do? What's the story? I don't know. I think I'm going to head up to the San Gennaro Feast because <laughs> I didn't eat lunch too much, so. Yeah, I didn't eat I'm lunch so either. Full. I'm pretty hungry I'm myself. So hungry. All right. All right. Well, uh, Ken. All right. Well, good luck with everything. And, Thank you, Ken. Uh, if you need anything else, I'll come by. <laughs> we'll switch my SIM cards again. Ken's part of the geek squad now. He, uh, he travels around and he helps yeah. people. He helps people <laughs> fix their... Uh, it fixes our stuff. You know what I mean. Yep. All right. All right, Ken. Well, have, fun did, the, uh, works, so. have fun at the. Have fun at the. A shake, shake. Look at that. Look at that. Handshake. Huh? Diplomatic. It's like a. Yeah. You know when the, when like Northern Ireland and Ireland shake hands or something or Israel <laughs> Palestine. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, all right, Ken. I'll see you later, right. buddy. I'm gonna go I'll walk around. Way. Try this around. Statue of Liberty. Yeah, man. Towards the Statue of Liberty. See that guys up there? <laughs> That's the Statue of Liberty, according to Ken. You heard it here. Quote him. See ya. All right. Later, Ken. All right, guys, Ken is gone, and I'm here all alone, and I'm going to try to figure this out and walk around. <sighs> this is stressful, man, I'll tell you that. Holy Lord, I've never... Video disappeared. What? Oh, yeah, there's a there's a rally going on over there. I'm not exactly sure what it's for. We can walk over there if you want. I was going to uh, show you guys some other stuff. Um, I hope you guys can hear me okay. I took the, the headphones out as one of the desperate attempts to get my phone to work. Uh, but here we go. Oh, let me turn this around. So I get tired of looking at my old mug here. <laughs> uh, this beard, what? And this hair? Come on. All right, let me turn this around. The jets suck. Might as well watch this. Yep, that's what I bank on. I really it just crossed my fingers that every football team sucks every year so people will watch this. All right, here we go. We're walking. We're walking here. So, just so you guys know, this is all Broadway. I actually walked up this way. We actually started down in Lower Manhattan, and we walked up this way because the, you know, the audio and the video and everything was so crummy. Um, so, anyways, I'll show you what we're looking at. There's St. Paul's Chapel. That is actually the chapel of Trinity Church. It was built in uh, 1766. 1766, the oldest church building in Manhattan. That's actually where George Washington went to pray after he was inaugurated as first president of these United States. Uh, hey, Toronto, how you doing? One of the good guys here in YouTube land, I'll take that. Uh, anyways, here you also have One World Trade Center. That is uh, the formerly known as the Freedom Tower. They took the name Freedom Tower off it because it would have been, uh, you know, a little, a little much. They thought it was a little much. You know, people are going to, you know, put a bullseye on it with a name like a Freedom Tower. There's uh, George Washington's little church. He, he marched up to this church because Trinity Church was actually, uh, uh, it was burnt down at the time because uh, the British, they say, burnt it down or the, or they don't know who burnt it down actually, but it was during the revolution that it burnt down. Uh, you think this, oh, these people are talking about these lives. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do these lives a whole lot. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm just, this is all just a huge, um, this is just a huge uh, experiment. We'll see how it goes. I don't know if this is going to help or what it's going to do, um, but uh, I'm going to try it and see. And that being said, if you guys are just coming in here for the first time ever and you're not, uh, you know, 
you know, aren't subscribed, please subscribe. It's a huge, uh, huge help. And that's kind of what I'm seeing what this does. If it like, ex you know, exposes me to more people, exposes me to more people, <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, we'll see if it does and uh, maybe I'll keep doing them. I don't know. But also too, if you want the Patreon's a big thing, that's a huge help. Any amount helps. Uh, Patreon is, uh, just go to patreon.com, TomDNYC. That's a huge help as well. Uh, but anyways, I digress. Let's keep moving. Am I native to Ridgewood? No, I'm not. I'm not native to Ridgewood. I'm native to, well, I was actually born in Philadelphia, believe it or not. And, uh, and then I moved to Florida early on in my life and uh, grew up there, grew up in Florida, grew up in Tampa, actually. There's uh, the old World Trade Center. This will help me, someone says. Uh, Reverend Jenny Osorio. Yeah, come see my comedy. I actually run a free show. Not free anymore, actually. It's $8. $8 tickets, but it's every Wednesday. And it's a super fun show in the East Village at a place called Poco. Just go to at what else comedy on uh, Instagram and you can get tickets and stuff. Super cool. Yeah, actually, kid left. Sorry, guys. He had to run. He has better things to do than help me figure out the, uh, you know, help me figure out the freaking tech stuff. All right, so we're walking. You left that car, the, the cone on that car? All right, let's see what's going on on this street. So we're walking down through lower Manhattan. This is all kind of like, you know, uh, Manhattan, this is the New York of old. This is New York of old. Uh, this is where, you know, the colony of New Amsterdam began way down in the south. Uh, this is where it all, pretty much up until like 1810, 1811, 18, around that time, was pretty much up just to City Hall where we started this thing. Am I in Paris? No, I'm in New York. New York. I think that's what the title says. All right, from AKs and Urbanist Streams. Oh, well, look at that. Well, I'm in the live stream game. I'm in the in the uh, same sentence as those guys. So if you guys like, uh, you know, you guys should check out my channel. I don't normally do live streams. It's actually the first one I've ever done, if it's not obvious enough that I'm starting, uh, well, let's see, what am I, an hour and 45 minutes late. I'm supposed to do it at two. And uh, here we are. It is 3.45, but it's okay. No one's judging. So we're walking through lower Manhattan. Never done this. We'll see what happens. Check it out. All the narrow streets here. The reason they're so narrow is because we are in the old part of Manhattan. This is where all the streets were laid out a long time ago, way before the... Uh, way before the uh, grid of Manhattan was implemented in what year, everybody? 1811. If you watch my videos, you'd probably hear it because I mention it every damn time. There's a Joe's Pizza, the original Joe's Pizza started in Greenwich Village. Oh, great, here comes the, here comes the, uh, I hope they don't end my, my uh, Uh, that's great. That guy's listening to cranking his, you know, Rihanna or whatever. I'm going to get my stream ended. So we're going. We're doing this. Let's see if I got this right. Oh, is this, is this making you guys seasick? I got a little gimbal today. Well, not a gimbal. It's like a little, uh, like a little tripod that has like a weight on it. So it's not terrible, but it's, I guess, I guess it's making this guy seasick, huh? Oof. Uh oh, we having problems, Pierre. You know, I'm just waiting for someone to get angry. Then I'm. Uh... Hey, thanks, Ken. Almost 200 people. All right, so we're gonna walk south. We're walking south back to where we started. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm just asking for trouble because that's where all the stuff went wrong. But uh, you know what? Screw it. I've already started an hour and 45 minutes late, so who gives a crap? Yeah, there you go. There's all the... All right, I'm going to try to go slow so you guys don't get seasick. Lady Gaga is a native New Yorker. She actually did go to NYU. She's not... I don't think... She, I don't think she's native from the city itself. I know she's... I feel like she's from around here. Stephanie Germanata is a real name. She went to NYU, she dropped out. There was actually a Facebook group. This is actually true, I just read this recently. There was a Facebook group started because everyone hated her at NYU. They started a Facebook group called uh, 
Stephanie Germanata will never be famous. They started a group that's, that was called that and uh, she got the last laugh. Don't drop out of NYU or you'll be famous and rich. Don't ever drop out of college or you'll be famous and rich. You don't wanna be famous and rich. More money, more problems. All right, so we're walking south. She's not a German, no she's not. Yeah, lots of people stream live from NYC without issues. Thank you, I get it, public eye. That's true. This is my first time, chill out. Now we're gonna head down here a little bit. Right. Oh, check it out, look what this is. You guys know this building? That building is the, uh, I just showed you guys the, this is the Federal Reserve Bank. It's the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. And the Federal Reserve Bank, this building actually was built in the 1920s. York and Sawyer were the architects and they built these big old bricks. Like this is done on purpose. You see them? Look at them. Big old bricks. Oh, there you go, look at my hand. Big old bricks to make it look all strong and fortress-like. It was actually modeled after palazzos in, uh, in Italy. And uh, it's, it's the building from uh, Die Hard of the Vengeance. You guys ever seen that movie? One of uh, Samuel L. Jackson's early movies. My barber is missing me. No, he's not. <laughs> I promise you he's not. All right, nice watch, thank you. It was a gift. It was a gift from uh, my brother-in-law, actually. Who I think is watching. I don't know if he came back in. He might've given up. He might've given up on the stream. I don't blame him. So, here we go. Are the federal bricks limestone? No, I think so, I don't know. Good question. Let's get you a good shot of it here. There it is, the Federal Reserve. You see where we are? We're on Liberty. Liberty in Nassau. This is the largest collection of gold uh, in the United States, not Fort Knox. This right here. They say there's over $300 billion worth of gold bullion under that building. Uh, that's why in the movie uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance, they robbed this. Jeremy Irons. You guys know who Jeremy Irons is? All you guys, you, uh, you young kids may not know who he is. He was the guy who voiced Scar in uh, Lion King. A little trivia for you. That is one beast of a building. Pretty, I like it though. All right, I'm gonna keep walking south. Oh, I do walk a lot, I do walk very fast. I'm sorry, I'll walk a little slower. I'll try to keep this a little steadier. I got a lot of, I'm trying to juggle a lot of stuff here. I'm losing my mind, frankly. All right, how's this, is this better? Try to get inside. Isn't that the building Bane rated? I don't know. I actually never saw that movie. I never saw the Batman, whatever, nine or whatever the hell that was. I only, uh, my favorite Batman was the one with Michael Keaton. Hey, Silent Sinks. Oh, interesting. Jeremy Irons is big in, uh, on, let me see if I can get this. You rock. Cool, thank you. Man, people are giving me some weird looks here. All right, that was in Gotham, actually. Jeremy Irons is closed. They're enjoying this, huh? Well, I'm glad. I'm glad someone's enjoying this. Let's see here. I'm gonna try to get this thing. Hey, what's up? I'm just walking around here in New York. Here's my face. Just so you know, it's me and not some bot, and I'm just phoning everything in. All right, all right, all right, let me see here. Do a Bane voice? Is he the one who's like, a Bane, I'm Bane, 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 Bane. All right, let me turn this around. I never saw the movie, so that's the best Bane I can do. I'm Bane. I'm Tom Hardy. But you can't tell because I'm wearing this weird thing on my mouth. Ugh. Oh, let me take you guys over here. All right, let me see here. I don't want to get run over. Although that would make for some great live, live uh, viewing. Tour a biker bar, huh? Tom's going backwards is bot. With an M. Oh, I gotta rip half my face off, huh? Well, if this gets me more views, I'll rip it off. I'm just kidding, I wouldn't do that. I'm already doing a live stream, see how this goes. So yeah, guys, if you if you uh, let me just turn this around. 
So let me be uh, sincere. <laughs> if you like the view, if you like, uh, if you like walking around New York and seeing stuff, let me stop so you don't get seasick. Someone said they're getting seasick. If you like this, guys, uh, subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. This is a big uh, uh, experiment to see how how much more this gets me out there. I don't know. Who knows about these lives? They pump these things. We're all slaves to the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm. Uh, so we'll see what it does. But uh, also, too, I have a Patreon. Mm, the Patreon's huge, guys. I really, really appreciate any help on the Patreon. Uh, I, actually, I actually just announced this on the Patreon. I didn't announce it on Instagram or anything like that because this is a, a, uh, an experiment, as they say. Uh, so that's huge. Uh, any trivia quiz? Oh, yeah, I'll do some trivia a little later. But, uh, yeah, Patreon's huge. Check it out. Tom DMYC on Patreon. And please subscribe. That's it. I just wanted to stop to tell you guys that. We're going to keep moving. Sound good? go so here we are this here is zuccotti park zuccotti park baby can you street your camera or are you shy what all right this is a uh, zuccotti park zuccotti park is where um Cuddy Park is where actually uh, Occupy Wall Street was. This is where they did Occupy Wall Street 10 years ago. It was a protest against corporate corruption of the government. Uh, they encamped here from uh, September to November 2011. It was pretty cool, actually. I came down here a few times and, you know, there was like uh, speakers and uh, lectures and a bookstore. And, you know, and if you watched it on TV from, you know, wherever, you probably thought it was like a bunch of, you know, whatever i don't know but it was actually pretty cool uh until it got beat to all hell by the by the police uh this is a uh, broadway we'll walk south here show you guys that oh boy someone just stopped in the middle of the street well anywho that's a world trade center over there you have a gimbal for your camera i do Oh, someone said it accomplished nothing. I, I disagree. I disagree that uh, Occupy Wall Street accomplished nothing. It's a little, uh, it's a little, uh, it's a little, I guess, you have to look a little bit. They changed the conversation. I mean, think about this. For, for Occupy Wall Street, if you said the word one percenter, you were like the dirtiest communist on the planet. They actually made these conversations mainstream. They made the conversations about wealth inequality mainstream. Uh, you know, before 2011, you talk about those things and you're kind of dismissed as being insane. So they changed the conversation. They made it. Uh, they made it. I don't think there would have been like a Bernie movement, Bernie Sanders movement, without it. You know, it's questionable what they've done up to this point, but there wouldn't. The conversation definitely changed. Anyways, switch. Oh god, it makes me nervous being around all these people. All right, let's keep moving. I just feel like someone's just gonna like photo bomb this, or whatever you call it. Really? Hope you guys aren't getting seasick. Walking fast, sorry. Yeah, I imagine if you lived in the area, you weren't a fan of Occupy Wall Street. There's a lot of uh, kind of a commotion, but it was a cool thing to, to live through. All right, check this out. This building here. This, this building here is the Equitable Building. The Equitable Building was built in 1916, 120 Broadway. This building is gigantic, and it goes straight up in its lot. Check it out. And when it was finished, they were actually talking about doing um, land, I'm sorry, uh, zoning restrictions for the size of buildings. So this building's huge, right? In 1916, because of this, partly because of this building, they actually implemented zoning restrictions on, on tall buildings where if you had, if they went up like a certain height, they had to go inwards. So like if they went up, they had to go in and up and up, in and up like a wedding cake, right? That's kind of like the Empire State Building, like the Chrysler Building, like a lot of those Art Deco buildings of the 1920s and 30s. They owe it to this building and the zoning regulations that were built because of this building, the Equitable Building. Let's see. We got the keep walking here. Hey, check it out, Trinity Church. This church was uh, the parish was actually started in 1697. This is actually uh, the oldest parish in United States history, 1697. Pretty cool. 
All right. It's also two. For, they built it in 1697. Uh, they didn't build this. They built this church in 1846, with the uh, with the simple purpose of being the end of the movie Na uh, National Treasure. It was built in 1846 so that 150 years later it could be a national treasure. So pretty cool. Richard Upjohn designed it in 1846 to be in. Uh, National Treasure later on for uh, he designed it for Nicolas Cage. This is not the oldest church in NYC. The St. Paul's Chapel is the oldest, uh, which I uh, showed you guys earlier. It's the oldest in Manhattan. All right, I'm gonna go hide away from people. I get self-conscious carrying this thing around. I feel really weird, to be honest. Is there a bell in the graveyard? No, that's actually a. You see that little thing you were asking about? This thing right here. That is not a bell. That's actually a, uh, a memorial. To It's called the Sugar House Martyrs Memorial. And the reason it's there is because they used Sugar House, uh, Sugar House that was here, as a, um, as a prison during the uh, Civil War. No, sorry, not the Civil War. The uh, Revolution. And, and all the people who died there uh, are being remembered in that Sugar House Memorial thing. All right, where is Phil? He's not here. It would be nice to have someone helping, but he's not here. Uh, you could tell I'm using an iPhone 12 Pro, huh? I don't know how you could tell. But, uh, yeah, so anyways, we're walking. Now we're off the side streets. I feel a little more relaxed. You feel kind of like a... That's not Anderson Cooper's apartment. Anderson Cooper's apartment is in Greenwich Village. But, uh, yeah, anyways. Yeah, so we're going to be heading over towards Wall Street here in a second. Oh boy. All right. Oh, the shot is really wide. It's the wide lens on the 12. You're right. You son of a gun. Cooper Cooper's apartment, I think, was an old firehouse. You're correct. He hollowed out and gutted an old firehouse in Greenwich Village, and it's now his home. It's a mansion. Uh, if you want to see the inside of it, you can see a video that he did there with... Uh, uh, Kevin Hart. I think Kevin Hart's done a video in every single spot in the entire world. All right. Cooper is a Vanderbilt, you're right. In fact, he hates talking about it. Whenever anyone asks him or interviews him about it, he gets really pissed off. He hates talking about how he's a Vanderbilt. That's right, Anderson Cooper's a Vanderbilt. I wonder if that played into him getting a job at CNN, or any job for that matter, or going to whatever fancy school he went to. All right. What happened to Sarah Biker's careful? Never like Kevin Hart. Oh, all right. Let's keep moving. All right, we're gonna go south. We're gonna walk through this tourist area. All right, so we're walking down to Wall Street here. Wall Street, very important spot. Um, you're gonna see here, you see in the distance there, that's the uh, New York Stock Exchange, which has been there in that spot since 1902. Uh, it's, I'm sorry, it's been in that spot since 18, I wanna say 1867. Not exactly right, it's off the top of my head, but uh, yeah, I think but that, that actual building has been there since 1902. Uh, I don't like Mark Norman, I love Mark Norman, he's great. Anyways, uh, you can see here, this is the uh, stock exchange, which is the reason Wall Street is synonymous with um, is synonymous with finance, because of Wall Street, it, uh, its location next to the, uh, all right. So now we're on Broad and Wall. I'm getting nervous that I'm gonna get a bad connection here, guys. Delmonico's is nearby. Oh yeah, he always does say thank you, Adam Kevin Hart. Will Tom's channel go IPO one day? I hope not. I don't think I need all that much money. I think, uh, plus, you know, if I went public, I'd have to lose control of it, a good amount. All right, check it out, there. So this here is a really great example of Greek Revival architecture. This used to be a customs house, actually. It's called Federal Hall National Monument because this building is in the place of what used to be Federal Hall. And that is where George Washington, see that little guy right there? That little guy right there, hey, boop, 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 boop. 
That's a, that guy actually was the first president of the United States, and that spot is where he was inaugurated as first president. Yeah. Brick streets are cool. Oh, check it out. So this here is the Federal Hall. That's where he stood. I say that exact spot. Coochie, coochie, coo. Coochie, coochie, coo. Uh, yeah, I will walk a little slower. Um, oy, oy, oy. Man, I'll walk a little slower. Relax. All right, I'll just also stop for a second. You see this is all Wall Street. It's called uh, Wall Street because this is where the wall protecting the colony of New Amsterdam was built in 1653. And uh, it was built by a man named Peter Stuyvesant. Well, it wasn't built by Stuyvesant. It was actually built by slaves. But who's going to uh, nitpick, I guess, right? Uh, but yeah, it was built by slaves. That's important. An important detail. Uh, let's take a look here and show you, show you this. They put these down so you could see kind of where the pylons were. Look at that. Pretty cool. I'll show you the black here in a second. Check this out. Cheers. Cheers from Southern Bavaria. Ah, the gates. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Ich spreche ein bisschen Deutsch. Ich lerne gern Deutsch. Uh, weil mein uh, Freundin ist uh, Deutsche. All right, this is fine. Why George Washington hand on the statue? So George Washington hand, George Washington hand, George Washington's hand is actually there that way because he uh, he's grabbing for uh, the Bible. He was actually that's supposed to be what he looked like when he took the oath of office to be first president of the United States. Guten Abend, ah, the gates. Tu parles français? Uh, je parle français et anglais. There you go. Uh, so that's uh, hey, there's Trinity Church right there, pretty cool. Like I said, that, that has been a church there since 1697, but that's the third church on the site. First one burned down when the uh, revolution happened. And uh, the second one burned down, uh, I'm sorry, fell down, like I think in the 1830s after a really bad blizzard. So there you go, you got the, oh, oh, and also too, this was built as a customs house in 1842. So a customs house is built um, because, I kind of mentioned this before, but customs were the main way that uh, the federal government got its uh, revenue before the income tax was implemented in the early 1900s. So the, um, the uh, customs houses are always a big deal. All right, you guys got to see my mug. Time to turn it around. All right, let's keep moving. All right, you see all these fancy buildings here. So this used to be the headquarters of lots of different buildings. I'm um, sorry, lots of different banks, including this one right here. So this little building here was built in 1914. That was actually built as the J.P. Morgan headquarters. Kind of interesting. J.P. Morgan was kind of a kind of a an asshole. You know, no, I'm not, not telling any tales out of school there. People didn't really like him. He was kind of an arrogant guy, very powerful guy, but people didn't like him. And uh, when he built this, everyone was kind of like, whoa, man, that's a pretty modest building for how much of an asshole you are. Uh, and he said, well, and he also he also didn't include a name on it. He didn't put a he didn't put his name on it, didn't put J.P. Morgan on there. And people were surprised, like, why don't you put your name or the name of the bank on there? And he said, uh, well... If people are going to do business with me, they already know it's here. And if they don't know it's here, they don't deserve to know. And uh, that's pretty badass. Also, two people didn't really like them. So um, someone was saying they blew a car here. <laughs> so they blew up a car here, to be more specific. No one blew a car here. They blew it up, which is a little different. Uh, I'll chalk that up to uh, English. But uh, check this out. So in 1920, they blew up a car right out here. They blew up a car on this street in the middle of the day, uh, like literally at like noon when everyone was out to lunch, and they left these pock marks in the side of the building. Look at that, they're pretty big. This is what they made. They put a bunch of shrapnel and it blew up on the side of the building. And uh, they left it just to show uh, people that it was gonna take more than a bomb to stop him from doing business. Pretty, pretty interesting. He was kind of a, kind of a, kind of a badass in that way. Look at these pigeons. Oh boy, getting attacked here.
Okay, we're walking. I'm gonna walk you guys another side over here. Check this out. This over here is, well, it says Trump on there. It hasn't always been the Trump building, but this building is 40 Wall Street. And when it was finished, it was actually, it's got a blue top. Uh, a blue top because of uh, copper. Ah, yeah, the copper top. But cool story about this building. When it was finished in 1930, here. so when this building was finished in 1930, it was actually competing with the uh, Chrysler building. What happened was the Chrysler building submitted its plans to the city, right? And uh, it was going to be the tallest building in the world. They, they made that plan already. But they knew that this guy was building this building here, so they submitted a different number. Yeah, yeah all right, blue, green, all right, you know what I mean, teal. Uh, anyways, um, they submitted this plan here, uh, the, the, the Chrysler Building people, uh, William Van Allen um, and Walter Chrysler, and they said it was gonna be a certain height, but they lied. They were actually gonna make it taller and they submitted amendments later. Using that uh, suggestion, these people started building it and built it four feet higher than what they were gonna build down there. Uh, so the, the Chrysler Building people let them finish and then push their spire, which they were building in the staircase of their building up through the top four days after this was finished. Uh, as kind of a, uh, you know, screw you, buddy, and uh, became the tallest building in uh, the city and the tallest building in the world, actually, which is kind of cool. Actually, it was the first building over a 1,000 feet in the world, surpassing the Eiffel Tower at the time as the tallest building in the world. All right. All right, let's do this here. Turn this around. All right, let's keep walking. All right. Sorry. Using, I'm not using a gimbal, by the way, guys, because, uh, well, I guess I could, to be honest. Might, might actually help, since I'm not using a microphone. I could switch it out. Let me see if I can sit down. Is this, is this really annoying, not having a gimbal? I have a little tripod that has a weight on it. I bought this actually today to, uh, to help out with this, but uh, I don't know if it's uh, too annoying. I'm walking fast. Sorry, I'm going to slow down. This is a pretty cool building. It was an exchange building. It was actually the Citibank headquarters for a bit. It was a hotel for a bit. It's 55 Wall Street. I'll show you guys the thing. Thank you, it's not that bad. Yeah, I didn't think it was that bad. It's hard not to walk fast when talking. You're right, you're 100% right, sister. I think you guys can read that. I'm not gonna stand here too long. That's you got the idea. All right, I wanted to show you guys something at the end of Wall Street. So we're gonna go. It is hard to walk slow when you're talking. Tom, huh? <sighs> Stresses me out, man. Frankly, I want to always feel like someone's gonna come over here and, like, you know, I feel like uh, I feel naked out here. Not naked, just let's be clear. But uh, feel it, just carrying this freaking thing around. So, anyways, Wall Street. There's the the actual wall was built here, 1653, to protect the colony of uh, New Amsterdam at the time. And then in 1664, this colony was taken over by the British, right? I've talked about this in a billion one of my videos. If you guys are watching me for the first time, subscribe to my channel, do it. Because I talk about all this stuff in videos and uh, I do actually do those more often than I do these, uh, when I do these, uh, I, do, I don't do these live streams that often, but anyways. Uh, so in 1664, the British take over New York. They named it after James, Duke of York, whose idea was kind of, was kind of to take it over. He actually suggested it to Charles II, who was the uh, king at the time, who was also his brother. James eventually, be, uh, James eventually became king himself. So anyways, we're walking here. So in 1664, British take it over, and then 1699, they knock down this wall. They don't need it anymore. It was actually built by the Dutch to protect the Dutch colony from the British. Go figure. All right. Nice to see you, Russ. I'm just hanging out here. I'm gonna go sit down somewhere, maybe.
So this is all Lower Manhattan, by the way. So Lower Manhattan is uh, is pretty much where, like I said before, the colony started. Uh, all the colony started. You see all the the narrow streets and stuff here. This is where all the colony of New Amsterdam, then the colony of New York, when it's British, pretty much located. So uh, the streets are still very narrow, and there's the, the I've told you before uh, that it's not. Um, on the grid of New York, which is implemented in 1811. It starts at Houston Street to the north. And you guys already know it's pronounced Houston. Remember that. It's pronounced Houston, not Houston. You know that? So don't go up to anyone and say, how I get to Houston Street? Or they're gonna know you're a tourist and they're going to assault you. All right. Yeah, hey, what's up, dude? Hey, I love your videos. How's it going? Man. Oh, nice, man. Thanks. I'm actually trying to live right now. Are you okay? Yeah, dude. Uh, wait, what's say hello to the camera. Hey, <laughs> oh, random. Just met up with uh, some uh, some guy. Uh, but yeah, dude, I'm just doing a live uh, of the neighborhood. Oh, really? What's your name? Peter. Peter, nice to meet you, yeah, man. Nice to, nice to meet you. Yeah. Take it easy. Nice to meet you. Uh, that was weird. Nice guy. Peter just came up and said hello to me. Uh, it's still weird, I think, when people come up and, and say hi. I, uh, I, it's nice, I like it, but uh, I always feel weird. I'm like, ah. Oh. It's like, uh, the other day I was on the subway, actually, and a guy gets on the subway and just like pats me on the back. And I was like, hey. Uh, and then everyone's got their masks on in the subway. I was like, do I know this guy? And uh, I, was with, I was with my girlfriend and it was like, uh, hey. And it was just a weird, like, silence. And then he's like, I love your videos. I'm like, oh, that's where I know you from. Cool. So then I was stuck sitting next to this guy for the whole train. And I was like, crud. And I got to talk to this guy the whole time. But, uh, you know, I made it I made it okay. You know, you can talk to people. Nice. Talk to, talk to people. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I always feel weird. I'm a stand-up comic. Yeah, I guess that's true. Check this out. I wanted to show you guys this. So we're at the end of Wall Street on water. A lot of people don't know this is here. I want to show you guys some stuff that you might not know is here. So this was actually just recently put here. People were talking about uh, Occupy Wall Street. Well, Occupy Wall Street did accomplish this. They, this is one of the things that people were kind of like were pushing uh, during Occupy Wall Street is to uh, recognize the actual history of the city. And this was a part of it, that there was a slave market here, actually one of the biggest in the country, right at the spot. Uh, you can see all that 1711 was built here. Uh, and one of the reasons they put it here was that they, they wanted to basically create a market for them and uh, also have more turnover, not let them get too comfortable. Uh, so for a little while, there was a market here where they would auction people off. You can see it right there. Uh, that's what it would look like, I guess. That's the artist rendering. Uh, there you go. Slave market at Wall and Water Street. All right, let's keep walking down. I'm gonna sit down for a second getting a little tired of walking around oh boy so here we are i just stop here for a second just to uh, relax how are you guys huh you guys got any questions let me see if i let me see what i give me an update on the tour situation there are people here it's uh there is tourism uh restaurants and bars and stuff are requiring you show vaccination proof most of them to get in so there's that uh do i do, do still do private tours yes ronald reyes i do so just hit me up if you're coming to new york uh, what happened to Sarah? Sarah does her own thing. We do our own things. We're still friends. Um, uh, yeah, I am. I am good. Thanks. <laughs> I'm good. It is areas of Potterfield. You work too hard. No, I don't. I don't work hard enough. How come the stream isn't monetized? I don't know. Actually, should I monetize it? I don't know. I don't know what that even means. Does that mean like uh, ads come up? I didn't want ads popping up every two seconds. So I just didn't do it. Uh, is friendship overrated? No, it is not overrated. But remember, quality, not quantity. You don't need a million friends, just a few good ones. I popped my live cherry, now it's all good. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, I did pop my cherry. I don't know if it's all good yet, but uh, oof, that was a disaster getting getting started with that. Uh, yeah, I should enable Super Chats. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't even know what a Super Chat is. Uh, but oh yeah, since I'm sitting down, I'll mention, guys, <laughs> how do I bring this up? Uh, I have a Patreon. If you guys, uh, if you guys like what I do, the Patreon's a huge help, huge help. It, and you know, there's levels from like two to one million. So whatever you want to give is great. And uh, you know, there's extras on there. I actually only, uh, I only advertise this on my Patreon because I uh, was scared. Uh, okay, 
so don't judge me. But it's, I know, it's going fine, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, so yeah, please, uh, yeah, that was a sick plug. <laughs> that was a sick, it's funny, sometimes I'll be walking through the city and randomly someone will yell at me, sick plug. And I'm like, holy crap, I'm in the matrix. Uh, can you donate a random amount on Patreon? Yes, you can. Uh, you can choose your little level and uh, donate a random amount. Uh, discuss Super Chats with Action Kid. I just got to discuss everything with Action Kid. Uh, there's Super Chats or donations by viewers during the live. Ah, okay. Oh, you know what? If you want to donate uh, during the live, just random things and not Patreon, Venmo is the best way to do it. And that's uh, at TomDNYC. Um, yeah, I don't, have a pay I don't have camera people for these lives because uh, I wouldn't be able to read the uh, comments. And I think that's kind of why you guys want me to do these, right? But, uh, yeah. So that's why I didn't do it. And it's also just easier. I don't need to pay a camera person and stuff to come out with me. Uh, if I won the lottery, which neighborhood would I live in? In New York, which neighborhood? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. I like my neighborhood. I like Ridgewood. That's where I live now. I think it's a really cool neighborhood. Manhattan is kind of... Kind of like... Uh, I don't know. It's a little fancy for me. I like the East Village as, as a neighborhood in Manhattan. I like North. I like uh, Washington Heights a lot. Uh, I like that area a lot. That's a cool neighborhood in Manhattan. Um, but as far as like my favorite neighborhoods, I probably live in... I like Ridgewood a lot, man. Ridgewood's a really, really cool neighborhood out in Queens. That's where I live now. Uh, Venmo's not in the U and at PayPal as well. I should. You're right. Uh, I will. Sorry about that. Um, uh, you need a coffee? Coffee? You know, coffee. Will you ever go back to becoming a lawyer again? Yeah, you're right. No, I don't think so. Maybe one day. Maybe I'll do it one day if I have to, you know, defend myself for, uh, you know, for uh, uh, trespassing or something. Oh, bladder cancer surgery. Yikes. I'm glad I could uh, be some service. Rikers Island, more security. I can now coffee. All right, let's keep walking. I think, uh, I think you're ready to keep moving. Whew. All right. Let's go. All right. 340 people. Pretty sick. I don't know uh, how many, how you guys found out. How you guys find out about this stream? You guys, uh, are you guys subscribers? Are you guys just seeing it on your feed? What's the story? I'm curious. Because that's kind of one of the reasons I did this. I'm just really curious as to how this whole thing functions, to be honest. So this is Water Street, by the way. I should mention this is Water Street. Water Street is the, or used to be, the uh, easternmost border of the island. And this is actually where the water used to go up to. That's why they call Water Street. Uh, a lot of Manhattan, a lot of people don't know, is actually landfill. And it's been expanded over time. So, uh, yeah, there you go, Water Street. Pretty neat, huh? So you some more stuff here as we go down. We're going to walk. Rando subscriber algorithm wreck. Matrix, me, me. It's just so weird, I guess. All right, we're at 52 minutes of live streaming. Hola, Tom, desde San Francisco. You guys are subscribed on my main page, YouTube. Oh, cool, Camille. Maybe you should, uh, you know, just subscribe. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Some subscribers watching YouTube, one of your videos on TV, got a phone notification. Subscriber, subscriber. Oh, cool. All right, that's the answer there. But well, we're going. Favorite New York based movie. Favorite New York. I actually just saw a really good New York based movie recently. Really, really good. It's called Network. Really, really good movie, man. Um, I recommend it. I had never seen it, surprisingly, but uh, very good. Am I giving group tours these days? No, I'm not. Uh, I don't do group tours anymore. Just private tours if you want to come in. Hit me up. Come into New York, hit me up. Maybe I'll do a little private tour. Uh, that would be fun. How do I how do I research? I just read a lot, baby. Got to read a lot. Always got to be reading books. You guys are under 24 and watching this. A, a book is just like this big paper thing with lots of words in it. Uh, I guess if I had to say, it was probably, it's probably like an 80,000-word meme. Uh, maybe that'll help you figure out what a book is, but they're worth reading, so check it out. I've actually never seen Pope of Greenwich Village. I gotta check that out. All right, it's gonna get bright here. All right, holy Lord, it's bright. 
but have a Kindle. Oh, I don't know how you read on those things. Kindles are, Kindles are, uh, I feel like they're dangerous. Midnight Cowboy, great. Um, Ghostbusters, great. Those are great New York movies. Uh, obviously, you know, Godfather. Um, uh, Scorsese's got a bunch. I think I just saw a fun one that was After Hours, which is a good, a good Scorsese movie. All right, let's go this way. Serpico, also great. Not a fan of Kindles. Me neither, actually. I like to read the book. Um, Kindle doesn't feel like as... as uh, you don't dive in the same way you do with a book. You don't feel the progress the same way as a book. It's also, to me, always been cool that you're holding a book. It's like this two-pound thing, you know? It's almost like magic. You know, it's this two-pound brick of paper. But inside is another person's life and experience and knowledge and wisdom and you just inhale all of it by sitting down with it for, you know, 12 hours or 14 hours or whatever it takes to read it. And you just kind of ingest it that way. It's kind of a cool little thing, huh? Yeah, I'm a poet. No big deal. So this is all over Manhattan. Taxi driver's a good one, yep. Look at all this. All right. Let's keep going down. I feel a feeling, uh, I have a feeling that my phone is going to start cutting down here very soon. I want to show you a Stone Street here. This is pretty cool. Do I ever have stage for fright? I imagine you meant fright and not freight. Uh, not, not really, I guess, at this point. I guess when you're doing bigger shows and stuff, you do. Uh, or new, you're in a new setting, a new, you're doing something new, like, you know, some pressure. You're opening for somebody. You don't want to disappoint. You don't want to embarrass yourself. That's when you get stage fright. But otherwise, no. All right. Thanks for all the info. How's it going, Tom DMYC? Pretty good, man. Thanks. This is Stone Street. I'm not going to walk through there because it's kind of cramped. Well, maybe I will. Why not? So this is uh, this was all kind of redone and built up to be nice. And uh, you can see all this here, all the restaurants and stuff. Pretty cool. People, all the bankers and stuff come here and uh, eat for lunch, or at least they used to. I don't really walk in there, so many people. You can see that there, pretty cool. Nice, huh? All right. If I'm a comedian to tell a joke. All right, here's a little so word, word, word to the wise. If you ever meet a comedian, the worst thing you could possibly say to them is tell a joke because it's the most annoying thing on the planet. And, uh, you know, because, let me explain why. Because you're telling them to do something completely out of their element and you're setting them up completely for failure because you're already expecting it to be the funniest thing on the planet off of the stage, which is where they do what they do. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, meeting a dancer and telling them to perform Swan Lake or something in front of you. Uh, not the same thing, but kind of like that. But, uh, yeah. It's weird, too, because you meet comedians and uh, everyone assumes that the comedian that they see on stage is the person off the stage. And that's not the case. It's a performance, man. These people have, like, honed their performance. So you watch, like, a special on TV. Those are years and years that those jokes have been told hundreds and thousands of times. And they're, uh, you know... Perform Swan Lake on demand all the time, huh? Well, I stand corrected. All right, Stone Street. My opinion on Bo Burnham. I really like that last special. I wasn't crazy about him before, but that special he did um, over a pandemic, I thought was really cool. Not because it was hilarious, but because it was so uh, creative. I thought it was super creative and it was super, uh, I don't know, super, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, innovative, you know? It's like inspiring to see someone do so much with so little. NYC book recommendations, Nathan Burroughs. Okay, I'll give you some. Gotham to start, that's the biggest one. Uh, it's like 1,400 pages, so, you know, you can take your time reading it, in the meantime, use it as a doorstop. But it's an amazing book. Every chapter's like an epic tale. I would say uh, Island at the Center of the World is another great one. That's about New Amsterdam. Uh, really cool, and a 
great story because everyone kind of discounts the, the Dutch history of New York when in fact it's very, very important to the development of the city. I would say also um, uh, Vanishing New York, great uh, kind of like a great um, book on uh, a great book on uh, Bronx is Burning, yes too, Michael Wooten, yes you're right. Bar oh, Bronx is Burning is incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bronx is Burning, incredible bro book. Uh, that's very really good. It's about the year 1977 and the blackout, uh, the Yankees winning the World Series. Spoiler alert. Also, uh, the mayoral race. Uh, very, very good book. I recommend that one, too. I'm going to sit down here for a second, man. We're down near Stone Street here. I'm going to show you guys a couple things here, but I'll turn this around just so I can talk to you. Um, some other ones, I guess. Uh, I, I told you that uh, Island at the Center of the World would be great. That's a good one. Uh, Dutch New York. Our Dutch from Amsterdam, sorry. Uh, also, uh, what else? That's a bad angle, huh? Got to do it from the top. Um, Vanishing New York. Um, out of the center of the world. Oh, you know what was good is Liberty's Torch was a cool book about uh, the Statue of Liberty. Uh, it was really cool because the story of the Statue of Liberty is actually very interesting. People don't realize that there's a lot more to the Statue of Liberty than just, you know, a big blue woman from France. You know, there's actually a, a story of like, you know, ambition. What's up? Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Have a good day, guys. Well, I'm really, uh, really getting on the uh, tension down here. I don't think it helps that I'm carrying around this freaking uh, camera. Um, anyways. I just want to hide. <laughs> I just want to wear a mask and no one see me. Uh... Oh, so you see over there, that's all Stone Street. That's the end of Stone Street. We were there before. Uh, all right, I'm going to keep walking. I don't like sitting here with this camera. All right, get up. Uh, my first videos were great. I plan on doing that style. Well, I'll tell you what, man. So the talking about the what a town videos that i used to do where they were like goofy and interview heavy and and sight heavy i want to kind of mix that into the walks i want to make a like a show or like a you know like a 30 minute thing where i stop at certain places and experience those places in person and uh you know got to get there the walks are just easier for me so i do those this is pretty cool look these foundations here Pretty cool. So this, these are here because this used to be where the um, Stat Heis was. I'm butchering that, sorry, but that's Dutch. And uh, the, what that means was this is where basically like the, there was a bar here because I ended up calling the Lovelace uh, a bar and, and like, you know, a little well here. This is also a well. And this is where the actual government of New Amsterdam was held. Kind of cool little well there, gonna fill that in. Power Broker by Robert Moses. I actually haven't read that. Bob. Oh, hey, Bob. How are you? Good to see you. Um, Bob, by the way, is a great tour guide. If you guys are listening to me right now, you guys should check out Bob. So Bob actually wrote a great book um, called uh, The Pop Spots of New York. Uh, I actually used it. I've used it a lot to like look up cool spots in New York. So you should look that up, Pop Spots. Right, Bob? I think that's what it's called. And uh, Bob Egan. Robert Egan is the author. Very, very cool book. I recommend it. That's another good New York book, huh? But uh, let me turn this around. Check it out. So there's the Francis Tavern. So here's a funny little insider story. Uh, yeah, I do want to write a book, actually. Someone write, write a book about New York? Yeah, I want to. That's going to come soon. I'm busy reading the books right now. I'm actually reading a book right now about Ellis Island called American Passage. Very good. Stanford White, the Adulterer. Is a, that sounds like a great book, actually. Yeah, Stanford White's got a really cool story. So, anyways, I'm sitting here next to Francis Tavern. You can see it right up there. See that? It's a recreation. It was built in the 1900s, early 1900s, and uh, that actually is the site of what used to be Francis, the first Francis Tavern. It wasn't actually called Francis Tavern the whole time, but this man named Samuel Francis uh, bought this site in like the 17 mid 1700s. And he built a uh, tavern here, and it's actually here where like the sons of the uh, sons of liberty would meet, and they actually were the ones who kind of planned things like the tea party. That actually there was a tea party here in New York, by the way, in addition to uh, in Boston, 
and uh, also too where George Washington had his farewell dinner for his uh, his uh, officers at the second floor there you can actually go into the room and see what it would would have looked like it's not the actual place but you can see what it looked like so uh but, but there you go bobby a nice sick plug baby my book pop culture new york city uh has maps the 2000 pop culture landmarks that's right bob egan's the best too if you want to if you want like a tour i've actually taken tours with bob and he uh, he'll show you around all the uh, all the like uh you know record record uh record cover like cd cover like all the album covers sorry that's what i meant to album cover location where they took the pictures he knows everything about every musician everything it's pretty cool uh, whenever you see stanford white you think of the la that grammar book you're thinking of strunk and white well interesting strunk and white actually uh, half of that the strunk and white is actually eb white eb white used to write for the uh new yorker and uh you can see up there you see turned around and did not want to pass through they didn't want to pass through the uh <laughs> through, the, through the video i don't blame them man whenever i see someone live streaming i'm like get the hell out of here i don't want to walk right through that uh oh yeah well maybe decide to start giving tours so this is an interesting story i'll turn around here for this so i'm in front of uh Francis tavern here i'll tell you what happened so i was do gonna do one of those original someone's asking about the original videos i used to do the what a town series and i would do these videos where i would visit locations that i was going to do one at this place and i went i showed up i went with a camera guy his name was Keith, really nice guy. I still work with him a little bit. But uh, we showed up, came in from Jersey, and they actually pulled out last second, which is really, really annoying. So uh, they pull out, and I'm like, oh, what the hell? We're stuck here, and uh, what do I do? So I said to Keith, I was like, hey, just turn the camera on and just walk around this neighborhood. So he did. I didn't have a gimbal, I didn't have anything. And we just walked around lower Manhattan, and it's actually the first walking video I did. I think it's called the Financial District. It's not the best because, they, you know, I was totally off the cuff. It wasn't like, you know, planned out at all. I, uh, the lens was wrong. It was very shaky. But that's where I started doing the walking videos because I made that video. And before that, I had done a bunch of like planned videos. I did one at like the Trash Museum. I did uh, really cool ones, cool places, Bleecker Street Pizza. And, uh, and they took forever to set up, man, because that was the problem with those is that they, I had to get in touch with people and I had to convince people I wasn't a psycho, which was impossible. They're like, some guy with 400 subscribers wants to do a video on our place. They're like, yeah, get, tell them to go to hell. I was like, all right. So it was very hard to set them up. But eventually, uh, you know, once an hour I have more subscribers, it's easier, to get, it's easier to get interviews, but it's just so much easier to do the walks because I already know the history. I just need to go out there and just shoot it. And they're easier to edit too. Um, so anyways, that's why. So that, that's actually the place where I was gonna do a video and didn't end up doing it. And I just filmed this area. You can actually go back and look at it. It's a financial district video. Hmm, you didn't think there was gonna be any sick plugs here today, but uh, lo and behold, there's one right there. All right. Turn this around. All right, we're gonna keep walking. What do you live stream tours? Isn't that what I'm doing right now? Thought I was doing that, Chris Godek. How much is a private tour? Well, uh, just send me an email. Send me a you know a little message or whatever. We can figure something out. I only do private tours right now, though. I don't, I don't do the public stuff anymore. So this is all Broad Street. This is a cool story. So this Broad Street used to actually be a canal. So when the Dutch took over the area, they started New Amsterdam. 1625, it was chartered. And, uh, you know, when they did that, they turned it kind of into a, quote, New Amsterdam. And lots of canals through it and all that stuff. So uh, there was actually a canal here on Broad Street for a little bit with little uh, little bridges and things like that. So, uh, yeah, this is all Broad Street. And if we walked up this street, you would get to um, the, uh, the, uh, the stock exchange where we were before. I used to live in Holland, huh? Rotterdam is pretty cool. It's a nice place. I've never been to Rotterdam, but I've been to Amsterdam. It's pretty neat. My mom enjoys, your mom enjoy your videos the most. She has been your subscriber for a year. What about you, Ronald? You're not a subscriber? Get on, the, get on the bandwagon, bud. Uh, all right. Let me cross here. Get to, I hope, still waiting for your book. One day, Amsterdam is in Holland, and Holland is brothel heaven. Or brothel hell, I guess it depends on uh, what side you're on. Yeah, you're right. There's a lot of brothels and stuff there. The red light district, all that stuff. All right, we're going to keep walking here. To this. Okay, I may be asking for trouble here, guys. All right, I might be asking for trouble here. I'm gonna walk back to where I started the first tour uh, at the Alexander Hamilton Customs House. I'm gonna try. Uh, it's a really cool spot. I want you guys to see the stuff that's there. Wow, it's really bad light there. Gotta know your light. 
<laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go back there and uh, see if I can uh, if I can make it work. If not, then um, you know it might it might cut out. Actually, let me go this way. I'm gonna go this way and uh... all right, we're gonna go back this way. Why do I say sick plug? Uh, well, it started out kind of as a joke. I mean, I doing the whole all the YouTube videos were kind of just like, yeah, hey, I'll just do them. And I always thought it was funny the way that uh, YouTubers like plug their own things and all the like lingo that people have and. I don't know, I started saying and it kind of stuck, I guess. I don't know. Um, there are no pictures of how New York used to be with the canal, actually, uh, because pretty much everything of the Dutch times is gone. Uh, the only thing that's left, actually, is the names of the streets down here. They harken back to the Dutch. So, for example, Stone Street is called Stone Street because the Dutch had named it after it being the first uh, street that was paved, they say. Um, so that's why. We're walking, baby. We're walking. We're, I'm gonna, you know, 362 people, huh? Pretty good. Have I ever been, do I, am I ever offended by the Ted Bundy lookalike? No. But I'm gonna show you guys something. I don't think I look like Ted Bundy right now, frankly. This is not a Ted Bundy look. What I've been getting lately, so when I had short hair and no facial hair, I would get uh, the guy from the show You as another the serial killer and then when i grew out a little facial hair i would get ted bundy and now with the long hair i get charles manson i guess i bring this up to ask if you uh, notice a pattern here uh it's very flattering to be compared to famous people i guess uh, not so flattering to be compared to serial killers all right here we go take it as a compliment yeah i will uh, yeah Ted Bundy is a handsome guy. I will take it as a compliment. Don't you worry about that. All right. Uh, how many people have I killed? Uh, only place I kill, Corey, is on stage. Boom. Boom. All right. Where's the flushing video? It's coming. Chill out. A lot of places I got to cover still. I think the one that I have to do still is actually, uh, I've yet to do is uh, Astoria. Astoria's kind of. High functioning psycho sociopath, not a psychopath. I agree. My, my therapist would probably agree as well. Am I going to the Wall Street Bull? Yes. Let's go. I'm scared. Listen, if, uh, yeah, if my, oh, look at that. My sister is here. Nurse Trish. Uh, if you're ever in Tampa and need a good uh, nurse practitioner in dermatology, go to Nurse Trish. But uh, yeah, Venmo. If you have uh, if you have the time, at Tom DMYC on Venmo, and also to the Patreon. More importantly, if you can, the Patreon's huge. That's Tom DMYC on Patreon. We're walking, baby. We're walking. You had your worst breakup of your life at the Bull. Yikes, that's a brutal place to break up with someone. That is a brutal place. Where I imagine he like he's like leaning against the balls of the bull like, listen, honey, I got to talk to you about something. This isn't working out. And then he's like, to emphasize his points, just smacks the balls of the bull. He's like, I didn't cheat for the last time. Ping, ping, ping. All right. Keep walking, baby. Uh... Yeah, check it out. This is all back to where we, this. I actually started the initial stream here at two o'clock. Two o'clock. Remember that time? That was like five days ago. And uh, you know, it took me a little while to get it working, but here we are. This is actually Bowling Green. This is the first. What do I think about the new Matrix movie? I can tell you, I haven't seen it yet, but I can tell you right now, it's probably trash. It's a total cash grab. You got to be able to see through these things, guys. We're trying to get. We're trying to get. Uh, we're being. Uh, it, it, uh-oh, low battery, baby. I better get to make sure that... Yeah, but don't... I mean, the new Matrix movie is going to suck. It's a cash grab. Um, that's almost like... I'm almost insulted that these, uh, that these like, movie studios, they look at us like we're just complete idiots. They're like, oh, these idiots like the first Matrix. Let's just make it for the fourth time, you know, 20 years later, and these morons will buy a ticket. They'll pay us. It's all contempt. They have contempt for us. That's like when they came up with the Dumb and Dumber sequel with, uh, with uh, Jeff Daniels and... Uh, 
Jim Carrey. I was angry about that because I knew how horrible it was going to be. And uh, I didn't watch it, and I won't, because I love the first one too much, and I don't want it ruined, frankly. So, uh, you know, and they both made $20 million for it, so... Come on, guys. We gotta, we gotta be better. We gotta, we gotta demand more of ourselves, or they're not gonna start demanding more of us. Anyway, sorry, that was a long diatribe. All right, so here, here you go. The Matrix is a documentary. Oh, is it? I don't know. That. Hollywood has suckered us for a long time. You're, you're right, Scott. Yeah, Coming to America too. Another mess. Why would you ever? You know, it's sad. They're taking advantage of us. It's like a, they're, they're, they're preying on our emotion. That's all the nostalgia they're going for. They're not actually pitching you a good movie. They're lazy and they're going to they're going to your jugular for your emotion and nostalgia. It's not fair. And uh, we got to be better than that and not uh, not to let them do that to us. You know, if someone was coming up to you in the street and uh, trying to scam you, you would keep walking. And that's what I'm doing, man. Keep walking, baby. Uh, so here you go. This is the uh, this is the Bowling Green. Politicians and movies, they both suck. You're right. Politicians and movies both suck. So here you go. This also, too, by the way, is the beginning of Broadway. In fact, that little building there, see it? I'm oh, sorry. That building right there, see my finger? Star Wars has a, had a little bit of that problem. Yeah, you're damn right it has. Star Wars is, was bought by, what, Disney? So, of course, Star Wars is going to be doing the same thing. Uh, they're just going to be trying to make as much money as possible off of it. So here you have, uh, right there, that building. That building I was pointing at, that right, that right there is one Broadway. That was actually the headquarters of the White Star Line. That's actually where the White Star Line operated out of. Uh, you know, the, the, the White Star owned the Titanic. Keep walking. All right, relax. I'm gonna walk. Holy Lord. All right, I don't know if I got to. I don't know if I got to talk about this last time I was here. Um, but I wanted to mention this. So this building here, I, c I covered this for all you, you guys who've been here for the last nine hours trying to watch me figure this out. But I did start with this. This building here was the. Uh, this building here is the one of my favorite buildings in uh, Manhattan. This building is the uh, Alexander Hamilton Customs House. This building was built as a customs house in 1907, I believe. Pretty cool building. It's also from Ghostbusters 2. I uh, I was talking about that earlier. Ghostbusters 2 is the one with the uh, with uh, Vigo. You guys remember Vigo? Yes, Vigo. That's my best Janos impression. Uh, Janos was the uh, guy in the movie. Yes, Dana. Yes, Dana. This is Vigo. I do have the New Balances on. Check it out. Oh, those are the shoes. So there you go. This is the uh, Alexander Hamilton Customs House. This one replaced the one we saw earlier, which is where the Washington statue was, right? And what's cool about this one is they have these statues here in front. These statues in front were actually designed by Daniel Chester French. He was the guy who designed the Lincoln Memorial statue. Pretty cool, huh? What's interesting about these, I talked about this earlier, but I'll say it again, is they each symbolize a different part of the world at that time, okay? So here you go. This one here on the east is actually the far east. See that? It's a, uh, I'll show you guys. I'm gonna get, zoom in here a little. Why are you came? That's great, nice KG Wilk vision. That's a good, uh, that's a good uh, call. Why are you came? So there you go, you said it. That's the uh, far east. She's got her eyes closed uh, because she's oblivious to the rest of the world, a slave to her traditions with those slaves next to her, right? Kind of dark. You have here, that's North America. North America, flowing hair in motion, strong, holding the torch of liberty. Look at that, pushing the wheel of progress. Just a little bit of self-interest there, right? Then you have there, that's Europe, stiff, right? Rigid, hand on the rule book and the globe, intent on world domination, right? And then you have Oof, that's a lot of brightness. Over there, at the west, that is Africa, naked and asleep. Yeah, not exactly, uh, not exactly uh, PC, but uh, you know, what can you do? Crap, I gotta zoom out now. There we go. All right. All right, so this is the Customs House. Now it's the National Museum of American Indian, in case you can't read the giant words right there. Uh, if you can't read that, well, you got bigger problems, I think. Just go uh, learn to read instead of watching YouTube. There you go, you have uh, Bowling Green here. This is Bowling Green. Yeah, definitely not woke, you're right. This is not woke, very on PC. I think we should cancel Daniel Chester French. Let's cancel him, everybody. Hey everyone, write your congressperson. Write your congressperson with the heading, 
cancel Daniel Chester French. <laughs> cancel this guy who's been dead for almost 100 years. That's the most pressing issue in the world. Let's cancel this dead man. Anyways, can I run up the stairs like I'm Rocky? I could, but uh, you know, I don't know. It sounds tiring, frankly. All right, here you go. This is a Bowling Green. This was uh, this year was the first city park in New York history. Uh, first city park in New York history, uh, 1733. It's called Bowling Green because actually you used to have a little bowling in there, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's a little fountain there. Here's a little story about it. I'll walk up closer. Yeah, go full Karen. I should ask to speak to the manager of the museum. Excuse me, I'd like to speak to the manager. All right, let me see here. So I'm going to show you this here. You can see here there's a bowling green fence. I'll show you this. This year, 1771 was in this fence was built. It's the original one. Pretty cool. here soon 1990 was the year with the most homicides in new york there's your there's your uh pick me up fact from luis that's very true though or no sorry juan juan jimenez thomas in your ice cream truck that's true hopefully that doesn't get copyrighted and i don't get lose my <laughs> stream no, i'm just kidding all right mighty bowl we're outside over here i'm gonna show it to you guys i'm gonna try to hide so they don't i don't get all these tourists around me zoom in so you don't, you don't have to get so close. There you can see it. That's the bull. All the people lining up to take balls or take pictures of the balls of the bull because they say taking a picture of the balls of the bull is good luck. Uh, I'm sure all those people lining up are going to be future millionaires. So in case you want millions of dollars, go find one of these people who's taking pictures of the balls. here this is the beginning of broadway remember that there's the bull charging bull ah i'll tell you guys a cool story here in a second when i stop tourist trap lol yeah it's true it is a tourist trap it's cool to see but uh what's interesting about the bull i'm gonna sit down here in a second All right, I get here, get to see it. There it is, boom. So the bull was actually a gift from the artist. His name's Arturo de Modica. So, let me get over a good side here. It was a gift from a guy named Arturo de Modica, okay? So what happened was, in the year 1987, there was a day called Black Monday, where the, where the, uh, where the, uh, stock market lost uh, like 23% of its value one day. Everyone freaked out because they thought it was going to be the beginning of a new Great Depression. And uh, it bounced back. And to commemorate that resilience of the bull, this guy, Arturo de Modica, with his own money, created this three-ton bronze bull. And what he did was he left it in front of the uh, stock exchange one night. In the middle of the night, he came with a truck with cranes and just kind of left it there with no explanation. Everyone's like, everyone showed up the next day and was like, what the hell is this? And they got rid of it. They sent it away packing. And, uh, you know, the story got out. All right, I'll get closer. I can just zoom in a little here. There you go. Uh, so they sent him packing. They sent him pack, they sent it packing, sent up to Queens to get rid of it. But everyone in the city was kind of already in love with it. So they wanted to see it and the city said, all right, fine. So they put it here and it's been here ever since. This is 1989. So what's interesting is the, uh, the artist still owns it. The artist still actually owns the bull and has made himself a lot of money off licensing the image of the bull. It was actually the, uh, it was the, uh, 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 the uh, symbol of Merrill Lynch for a while. Pretty cool. And the, the, someone was just asking when the little girl was in front of the bull. Uh, they got rid of it. They moved it over in front of the, uh, the uh, stock exchange. Let me turn around here. Moved it in front of the stock exchange. Interesting story about that girl, by the way. I hate to be a party pooper, but that girl that was put there was totally selfish motives. It was actually a, a fund, like an actual private fund that makes a lot of money. These are very rich people who created a fund 
that was uh, that marketed women's businesses. And to market that fund, they just put that little woman there, that little girl there, the, the woman standing up to the little girl standing up to the bull. But they were using the, fa the fame of the bull to kind of market this stupid fund of theirs. So the artist got really mad and he's just got really, really mad. So they eventually moved it. But you know, that's pretty, that's kind of, that's kind of crap. Like the guy was just trying to get rich off it and or those guys were just trying to get rich off it and they put it there and so it eventually moved. Go figure. Uh, but they, they were using also to the climate of the moment with all the Me Too and the women's rights and like the quality and all that. They were using it just to make a buck uh, pretty in a pretty naked way. Uh, so I, that's why I'm just kind of like, yeah, get rid of it. So anyways, uh, but yeah, you can see all the people touching the balls of the bull. Let me show you again. Look at that. You can see all the people there taking pictures of a little girl getting on top. You wouldn't believe this, but it's normally more crowded than that. Let me show you this here too. Let's zoom out. Right there is 26 Broadway. See that? That is actually was the home to the, the uh, headquarters of Standard Oil, which was uh, John D. Rockefeller's company. You guys ever heard of him? That was the headquarters there. Right there in that building. That's where the Illuminati was founded. I'm just kidding. I don't know about that. Maybe. Okay, let's keep moving. All right. That's the bull here at the beginning of Broadway. If you ever come to New York, this is where you go to find it. Just look for all the tourists and uh, selfie sticks and dorks doing live streams with their gimbals and you'll find it. More scaffolding, that's right. Yeah, there's a lot of scaffolding in New York. There's a quote saying that uh, you know, New York is gonna be a great city if they ever finish it, or a beautiful city if they ever finish it. And, uh, you know, maybe it will. Here's something I wanna show you is this. Check this out. So these little tiles are all here because we're walking what's down what's called the, the Canyon of Heroes. So the Canyon of Heroes is actually where they do the ticker tape parades. So ticker tape parades uh, are where you know, whenever there's something big happening. In fact, the last one was when the Women World won the World Cup. Actually, no, they did one for the uh, first responders. Uh, not first responders, the, uh, what's it called? The healthcare workers and stuff. They did one actually just recently here. Uh, but they did one also uh, for the women in 2019. I actually came down here and did a little quick video of it. Um, then, eh, no big deal, sick plug. But uh, this is where they go down and they take this all the way to uh, City Hall, which is further north. And uh, people throw uh, papers outside of the windows, and it's called ticker tape because the original t uh, parade happened here in 1886 when uh, the Statue of Liberty was inaugurated. And uh, he, uh, yeah, he. Uh, so the, the the president at the time, Grover Cleveland, came back here to um, to the Manhattan Island after inaugurating it, and people were so pumped that they started throwing stuff out of the windows. And what they had in abundance here was ticker tape ticker tape uh so they threw tons and tons of ticker tape because it was the stock tickers of uh the financial district and it became a tradition and for a while they were doing them all the time and uh they stopped doing it all the time because uh it's expensive so they don't do them as much but you can see the tiles here i'll show you a few of the commemorating the ones who got them so you can see how often they did them right, that guy premier of france but they did some that you'll recognize that are pretty cool Hey, there's me. Look at me. Look at this dork with the uh, tote bag. We have the first solo flight around the world. Here's how often they were doing them. Check it out. The first married couple to fly the Atlantic. That's how you'll recognize. Look, I don't know if you guys remember 1936 when Jesse Owens won in front of uh, Adolf Hitler. When he returned, they did a ticker tape for him. Pretty cool. So these are all here. You'll see these all when you come visit. They're all marking the different people who had these things uh, thrown for them. And we're walking like a little circle back to uh, Wall Street area. I'll probably end this tour pretty soon. Um, I'll go to World Trade Center or something. I don't know. Adolf still pissed. That's right, Moose Knuckle. Adolf is... I believe. That's not true. 
when's the next stand up? I'm actually doing stand up this week a few times. Uh, if you ever want to come to see uh, come see a show, oh here we go. I got to got to uh, got to plug it. If you ever want to come see a show, come see. Let's see what else out on Wednesdays at uh, Poco. Uh, go to at what else comedy on Instagram. That's where you can buy tickets and stuff. Super fun show. Been doing it for years. Um, so you got to check it out. You want to go to one of the comedy clubs or whatever that everyone else goes to and reads out of the guidebooks, be my guest. But if you want to see something cool, go to that. Yeah, how about that? More likes than viewers. Is that right? I can't even see. All right. We got to get more people watching these things, huh? I don't know how to do it. This is the thing, guys. I don't know if you guys have picked up on this, but uh, I'm pretty terrible at YouTube. I don't exactly know what I'm doing. Uh, you know, I'm not very good at marketing, clearly. I don't uh, don't know how to plug stuff correctly. I don't know how to pump the algorithm, do all that crap. So this is like my big branching out right now is me doing a live stream finally. So we'll see, we'll see what this does. But uh, you know, trying to get it out there. I've got a uh, little audition, I guess, for this travel channel production company on uh, on Monday. Let's see how that goes. But uh, you know, just trying to get the Trying to get the word out, you know, I don't know, who knows. But what you can do to help, guys, and this is the big thing for me, is the Patreon. I really try to pump the Patreon because uh, if you do like what I do, this is the only way I'm going to be able to do more of it and try to figure it out is if you guys help out a little bit. Uh, I really do appreciate every single one on there. Every single person, no matter how small, please. It, it's a big, big help. Uh, it's Tom DNYC on Patreon, so get on, get on there if, you're, uh, if, you're, if you want to do help, if you want to help. Oh, thanks, Nathan. I appreciate it. Uh, I should have a small map. That's not easy uh, with the tech stuff. I've figured all that stuff out. I got a lot of stuff I got to do here, uh, right? So uh, I'll get get to all that stuff eventually. I'm going to show you guys. We're back to Trinity Church. Check it out. Well, I'll be doing real life guided tours. I'm doing tours now, man. If you're, if you're around and you want to do a tour, just let me know. I'm only doing private tours now, though, so give me a heads up. Oh, this was the Bank of New York building back in the day. I don't know if it's still here, actually, Bank of New York Mellon. But to bring up, bringing him up because you see that obelisk over there that is actually where Alexander Hamilton is buried find a bench I should you're right I will so this uh, you can see that there that right there obelisk is where Alexander Hamilton is buried oh, Alexander Hamilton the guy who started the Bank of New York so you can see all this this is Trinity Church here we saw that earlier Alexander Hamilton came over from the island Nevis in the Caribbean. He was like this child prodigy, super smart kid. They funded his trip here. Uh, it was kind of cool, you know. He came here, he was actually a hero. Uh, I'm sorry, one of his heroes was actually Aaron Burr. He was a big fan of Aaron Burr. He wanted to go to Princeton like him, but he ended up at Columbia, actually King's College, it was called before the revolution. And, uh, you know, studied there and got involved in the revolution. And the uh, War of Independence was actually the right hand to George Washington. Worked his way up, impressed George Washington, became the Treasury Secretary, the first Treasury Secretary. Um, Burr was a good dude. I don't know about that. He was kind of a weirdo. But uh, anyways, uh, he's buried here with Eliza Hamilton, his wife. By the way, another interesting fact about... Um, about uh, Alexander Hamilton, first guy involved in a government sex scandal. That's an interesting little fact. He, uh, he, he had a, an affair with a woman named Mariah Reynolds, and then she blackmailed him. But instead of letting her get away with it, he just basically came clean. And, uh, and he basically wrote this memo kind of apologizing and saying what he did and feeling bad and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, so kind of an interesting little fact there. That was him not throwing away his shot, huh? But yeah, he got killed by Aaron Burr in a duel in Weehawken, New Jersey. Go figure. And also interesting fact, his son was actually killed in a duel uh, two years before. So he was kind of a, an idiot for accepting that duel. He should have known better. All right, I gotta find a place to sit. Uh-oh, 10% left. Yikes, gotta hurry this up. All right, I'm out of hustle. He was a banker, not a patriot. Well, he definitely was a banker, but, uh, you know, I don't know. He was also one of the founding fathers, quote, founding fathers. So who knows if any of those guys were patriots? They're all rich dudes. 
who kind of set up the Constitution to protect the minority that had money, you know. How much to grab a tourist car? Send me a message. I'll uh, get back in touch with you about that. Have I seen Hamilton yet? No, I have not seen Hamilton. Uh, never been able to afford it, believe it or not. That, I don't know if that's hard to believe. All right, I gotta hustle. My phone's dying. What's my favorite movie? Uh, sorry, I don't have my PayPal um, linked. I should. My favorite movie? I don't know. I think uh, I'm a huge Dumb and Dumber fan. Dumb and Dumber was a great movie. I was a huge fan of uh, The Big Lebowski. All right, we're kind of back to where we started, right? Message me about tours on Instagram. My Instagram is TomDNYC. All you guys watching, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, that's where you usually post stuff. I don't post a ton on there, but I do post. Uh, I have my links and things like that on there. I post about shows and things on there. So at TomDNYC on Instagram, follow it. Uh, I'm not a huge Instagrammer, but it helps. So uh, yeah, at TomDNYC on Instagram. Also uh, TomDNYC on Patreon. My phone's going to die pretty soon. So if it does cut off, uh, you know, whatever. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't have, actually I could plug in the, uh, I can find it. Hold on a second. I gotta get to it. All right. Zuccotti Park. Can I do a Bronx tour? Yes, I'm actually in the process of setting one up right now as we speak. I have a meeting this week with a, with a business owner there who's gonna introduce me to a couple people that I can interview and it's gonna be a good one because the uh, Bronx is a cool neighborhood. Well, wow, cool borough, sorry. I'm gonna be doing the South Bronx most, more specifically. All right, let me see if I can find a spot to sit. Thanks, Denise, I appreciate that. What's up, Steve? All right, let's see here. Seven day coming up. Have I met a famous comedian? Sure, I met, uh, met a few famous comedians doing stand-up. All right, let me see here. I'm not gonna do the, I'm not gonna go into the World Trade Center. I don't know if I have time on these. I'm just gonna sit here for a second and put in this. Whew. Go from here. Sorry guys, I'm gonna try to get this set up here. Mm -mm -mm. Trying to get the battery, sorry. So this way I don't won't die, hopefully. So this all over there in the corner is the World Trade Center. It's a world, new World Trade Center, to be more specific. Probably gonna be signing off here in a second though. Because I gotta let my phone. Uh, oh, there we go. Alright, I think it's I think this is working. These men are cowards, Donnie, that's correct. D. I. Lenin, Vladimir Ilyich Ulyanov. Where can you get the best bagel? Good question. Uh, I like the bagel store in Brooklyn on um, Metropolitan. I also like uh, Murray's on 6th Avenue. Those are very good. Favorite bar, I love McSorley's, baby. I love McSorley's. McSorley's is the best. Uh, you're entering a world of pain. All right, here we are, guys. I'm in Zuccotti Park. This is kind of a cool place to end. I'm gonna end here in a second. Um, I, uh, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, a lot of history in Jersey City. I haven't done a video there yet. Yeah, if you can like the video, that's a huge help. Also too, um, please check out the Patreon. It's Tom DNYC on Patreon. I'd, I'd really appreciate it if you did. Um, it would be a big help. Sorry. Uh, let me go up here be a big help if you helped out on patreon because that's how i fund these things that's how i keep you know improving try and improve whatever you want to call it and um yeah patreon tom dnyc please it helps a lot and uh also too uh you know if you have the venmo it's a tom dnyc on venmo uh yeah i mean we just kind of walked around hung out chilled out relaxed you know it's a pretty it's a this is what they call uh, infotainment as the kids say these days and, uh, you know, I'm trying to just uh, do more of this stuff and just figure out all this YouTube thing. I don't have any idea what the hell's going on with these things. I'm trying to figure it out. But uh, yeah, let me put this here. Uh, check it out. Look at that. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, 
this here. I'll do this. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Look at that. But yeah, um, uh, yeah, Patreon, huge help. Please have big, big help, and I'll try to keep doing more of these. This was not as painful as I thought it was. The beginning was very painful. It was actually brutal. But uh, but yeah, now we did it. Um, but thanks for coming. Um, I'll do some more as we go. Uh, you guys got any questions before I leave? Yeah, Nurse Trish putting that work in. She's my moderator and my sister. I love her very much. Uh, she's very, very good. Check out her, <laughs> her, oh yeah, check out her Instagram, Nurse Trish. If you want tips on uh, on uh, dermatology, which she knows so much about. Yeah, we got close to 500, but you know, what can you do? Uh, not, the, not the end of the world. Like I said, I don't know anything about, uh, about anything regarding uh, YouTube. I'm just trying to learn how to live stream. So, uh, you know. Uh, let's see, any other, uh, any other questions? This is what uh, these are for, just to have the, the uh, dialogue, as they say. College Point, Queens, one of these days, yeah, I'll try to do every neighborhood in New York, baby. Uh, sign up on Patreon, you'll be at the front of the line if Tom ever runs a kissing booth. That's right. Um, I'll run a kissing booth just for Patreon people. When's the next video? It's coming out this week, hopefully. I should be shooting in the next few days. Um, cranking those out. I'm setting up a very, couple very cool ones as well. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, also, too, check out uh, Patreon where the people vote for videos and stuff like that, too. And also special videos on there as well. Who are my favorite comics in NYC? Well, one of them just recently passed away, unfortunately. Norm MacDonald was a very funny comic. Unfortunately, he, uh, he just passed away. He was one of the people I loved to watch his clips whenever I just got bored. One of my favorite YouTubes was I'm Not Norm. His, new, his YouTube channel was one of my favorites, actually. Uh, but yeah. <sighs> Guys, I don't know what to tell you, man. We're at the end. We did it. RIP Norm, Baron. That's right. Well, I'm here at the Zuccotti Park. We did a little roundabout. Sorry about the, the, the issues at the beginning. I really appreciate you guys like Pierre and everyone who stuck around, Baron. Uh, a bunch of you guys stuck around from even earlier when I started. What's the last song you learned on guitar? That's a good question. I don't remember. Um, I don't know. I think it was Jim Croce, Alabama Rain, maybe? Uh, that might have been it. My New Balance Shoes, thank you very much. Those old things, come on. Oh, Action Kid, thanks. Thanks for help. Action Kid, shout out to Action Kid for helping me figure it out. He came over here, was nice enough to take time out of his day. His busy schedule, being a celebrity. You should see this guy every time we're out, just getting recognized left and right. Uh, to help me out was very nice. Uh, you guys got any questions to uh, throw my way before I leave? I don't know. I don't really know what to tell you guys at this point. Um, Nurse Trish killing it as a moderator. Wow, you found a new career. Ah, vi todo el video y ni un saludito. Perdóname, pues. Te doy un saludito ahorita, Alexis, Nicole. Play some tune with your guitar, bro. Next time, <laughs> all right. You'll be the only one watching, but I'll do it. Uh, I'm bring on my guitar and play some Jim Croce. See how long it takes to lose all my subscribers. How long have I had this hat? That's a good question. Walking commuter. Oh, cool. I've seen your videos. They're good. Um, I've had this hat for a few years. Nicaragua, baby. Nicaragua. Check it. Boom. Nicaragua. Got to represent Nicaragua. Um, oh boy. Uh, but yeah, where's the Central Park hat? It fell, it fell in the, uh, it fell into a well. It's in a well. Do I have a toupee? No, I don't. I just have a lot of freaking messy hair and I don't want to mess it all up. My hair's too long. Uh, all right. We got to get new shoes. Shoes, I'll wear them as long as they're not like, you know, I don't know, Skechers. Ugh. Just kidding. Uh, Hit Park Slope. I will. Park Slope's very big. Anybody got to do it? When would, would I ever go to Nicaragua? I've been a bunch. Love it. I recommend going there. My dream is to do videos in Nicaragua. It's not exactly the best place to visit right now, but uh, one day I'll go back. Last time I went was uh, like three years ago. Can we find someone to braid my hair for me? Yes, we can. Um, I actually would wear it normally in a ponytail. I'll put it back in a ponytail. All right, I'm rambling. Uh, any questions about... Uh, any questions about New York? Any questions about this tour, guys? If you have one, let me know, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign off here in a second. Hiring, would love to help build a team. Look, man, Figgy, if you're serious about that, hit me up on Instagram, I really mean it. I'm always happy to have people help. I have a few people help me do different things, graphics and whatnot, but I'd love to have people help me edit. If you wanna do camera and stuff like that, that'd be great. Uh, so yeah, hit me up. How frequently are you thinking of doing this? Who knows? I don't know, we'll see. This is kind of a, Kind of a pain in the ass, I'm not gonna lie to you, but, uh, oh yeah, Spanish, this might be a good idea to do in Spanish, actually. Cristian, 
So maybe one of these days I'll do it in Spanish. Am I still doing stand-up? Yes, I am doing stand-up uh, a good amount. Um, for fun, pretty much, because uh, it's not very lucrative. <laughs> FYI, I hate to break it to you, but it's very fun. And, uh, you know, do it a handful of times a week. Run the show on Wednesdays. If you ever want to see a great comedy show in New York, come Wednesday. At What Else Comedy on, on Instagram. Check it out. It's worth it. It's super fun. It's one of my favorite things I've ever done. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, Urbanist does a, a Spanish channel would be big. Yeah, it's a lot of work, man. I mean, uh, if I was to run a whole Spanish channel, I'd love to, but I need someone to help me edit the videos. I need someone to help me shoot it. I have to pay people to shoot it. I have to pay people. So maybe, I don't know if I could just do a quick, uh, maybe I'll just do those live or, or with my phone. I don't know how many more. I actually plan on visiting Berlin very soon. So hopefully gonna do a video there. Kevin Hart is doing great. So comedy pays. Yeah, Kevin Hart, it's like saying, uh, it's good to read books. Look at Jeff Bezos. Yeah, he read some books and now he's the richest man in the world. But uh, yeah, he's he's at the top. You know, there's other people too. And also too, I'm not a huge fan of his comedy, frankly. Uh, sorry, now I'm hating on other comedians. Oh no, cut that, cut that last part. Uh, more on was that? Uh, all right. Well, I take us to Ellis Island if they let me. They're very, they're very protective of Ellis Island, actually. Uh, you can't just go there with a camera, believe it or not. I'd love to. I think Ellis Island is one of the coolest places in the world. If you actually get a chance, visit Ellis Island. When you're in New York, go visit Ellis Island. It's worth it. One of the coolest places. So much human drama and, like, story and... Uh, sorry, I'm getting sappy. Uh, but really cool. Actually, that book I'm reading right now is called American Passage. If you really like the story of Ellis Island, it's everything you ever wanted to know. From the directors of it to the politics behind it to everything. Uh, yeah, Kevin Hart's on everything. Who likes Kevin Hart at this point? I mean, he comedy done in like the, the Superdome to 60,000 people, that's not stand-up comedy. People are gonna sit in the Superdome and really like belly laugh at someone who's like, you know, 300 yards away, give me a break. Anyways, he's also in every movie ever. They, he's never turned down a movie. You wanna do Jumanji 9? Yeah, sure. Come on, man, have some artistic integrity. Sorry, whoa, I really need to cut all that. That's really brutal. Uh, UK, one day, we'll see, we'll see, Jim. Uh, all right. Record. Mm. Artie Lang still doing stand-up? I don't know, actually, I think so. I think he was at the Comedy Cellar recently. Dave Chappelle's the best, I agree. Dave Chappelle's the man. That's the kind of stuff you gotta, you gotta, you want from your artists, man. Some, like, you know, some principle or some kind of, like, actual perspective or belief system. I don't know, not just cash in on everything possible. Uh, you know, and yeah, I realize that there's some irony in someone who runs a YouTube channel with like Patreon and all that stuff, but at least, you know, I'm trying to do something I actually believe in and everything. And I'm not rich either. I'm not just doing it to like fund my 10th house. Uh, so chill out. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe it was a bad idea that I stop here and just talk to my camera. Um, we need Stewie. Well, maybe one day we'll get Stewie out on these. Uh, the thing is, uh, I try to just do these so I can read the comments and stuff. I head back to Texas soon. Maybe one day. Uh, my brother lives there, so yeah, probably I'll come go visit him. Uh, cool, thanks for messaging me, Nathan. We'll see if you owe me royalties because I've worn a backwards hat with long hair and beard since 2013. Uh, no, because I don't normally wear a backwards hat. The only reason I wear these hats backwards now is because of the lighting. If the hat was this way, you wouldn't be able to see my face. Uh, uh, uh California. Okay, thank you, Renaissance Chambers, quickly. Okay. All right, guys, well, um, I don't know what to tell you. I've been uh, been hanging out here with you guys for a bit. <sighs> to what I consider doing weekly or monthly rants on live stream. I don't know. I don't know if you really want to see that. What I was thinking of doing, and uh, you can let me know if you're interested in this, is a podcast. We'll see if maybe I'll start a podcast where I can interview people from New York, uh, interesting people that I've met along the way. Um, so we'll see. I don't have super chat. I have no idea what that is. We'll see. I'll, I'll set that up. I got to do This is all an experiment. If you want to know more and you want to help me figure this out, once again, Patreon, that's where I check in with people all the time or whatever. Um, friendliest comedian, uh, Janine Garofalo, actually. Probably the friendliest comedian I've ever worked with. Super nice. Um, if you guys know who she is, she was from like the 90s and all that stuff. Did a lot of cool stuff. Uh, do I have stand-up dates, locations? Every Wednesday at Poco on 3rd and D in the East Village. Go to at what else comedy on Instagram. It's the best show, one of the best shows in the city. I kid you not. Um, Please have a donation tab. I will. I will. I promise. Uh, podcast would be great. Thank you. All right. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, Tr Nurse Trish. Should I wrap this thing up? <laughs> I'll see her in a second. I've been uh, been at this for almost two hours. Right? One, one hour and 48. Uh, what show? The show that I run every Wednesday. It's called Let's See What Else. At What Else Comedy on Instagram. And also at TomDNYC on Instagram. Add me. Uh, so I, you, guys, you guys can stay in touch. Uh... 
All right, sick plug, baby. That's right. You got to plug away. That's the only way. Uh, no one's gonna plug for you. That's for sure. So, um, make some merch. I gotta make some merch. I have I have coffee mugs. That's something. I have coffee mugs for people who uh, join. Pay coffee mugs. That's pretty cool. Um, we'll make some more. I'll make some stickers or something. I don't know. All right. Uh, Denise Chow. Gracias. Tom Green's coming in. Oh, I used to love Tom Green growing up, man. He was my favorite. Um, all right. Well, guys, thank you so much for checking this out. We're at an hour and 50 minutes. We made it to almost uh, 400, I think. I don't know how many we made it to. But, um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for uh, for checking this out. I really appreciate it. I really, really do because I, I was nervous about this, man. I didn't know what the hell to do. And I was nervous just walking around the city, to be honest. But uh, it kind of seemed like it, uh, what's my main goal with live streams? Just to grow the channel, frankly. I, uh, I just want to grow the channel. It's hard to grow the channel when you're making one video a week. It takes me a lot of work to make my videos and research and, and editing and all that crap. I'm doing it all myself. So the idea would be just to grow the channel a little bit, get in front of more people. Um, Scott, <laughs> yeah, you'll get a month. You're a natural. We love you, Tom. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I really do appreciate you guys watching. Um, I really do. It's really nice that you guys actually stuck it out. It was a real pain in the ass to get this started. So, uh, yeah, once again, if you guys are interested in staying in touch at TomDNYC on Instagram, TomDNYC on Patreon, TomDNYC on Venmo, um, thank you guys so much. Seriously, thank you guys so much for watching. It was really like, uh, it was really kind of nerve wracking doing this and setting this up. So it's nice to, uh, to see that you guys actually liked it. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for subscribing, my Aramia Colin. Uh, it's grown a lot already. It has grown a lot. Thank you. I, and I appreciate all you guys for watching. I, it grew a lot over pandemic. I just kind of stuck with it. And uh, since stand-up was dead, I just kind of just focused on the videos and focused on YouTube and grew it a little bit. So it's, it's there. I'm making a living off of this, which is nice, and being able to grow it. And, and uh, I will ask about Super Chat, I promise. <laughs> Live is the way to go. Yeah, it's okay. I, I don't know. It kind of stresses me out a little bit. I like having a little bit more to control about what I do and, and, and what I'm talking about and saying. It is nice to have the off-the-cuff stuff. But uh, yeah, uh, I will. I will do more of them. I promise. I gotta get. I gotta upgrade my equipment a little bit. Uh, is New York alive again? Of course. Never died, man. It's always been here. Yeah, of course. It's a little slower, and there there's some problems. But uh, it's still here. As long as there's New Yorkers and people in New York, it's never gonna die. I promise you that. Um, so yeah, I should visit Switzerland. I've been to Switzerland. I've been to Zurich. Zurich, beautiful place. And I went to St. Moritz actually. Mm, very fancy. Uh, oh, I didn't get, I'm glad you didn't get seasick. Uh, more Instagram. I will. I'll start posting more on Instagram. I promise. Uh, I should. I should. It's very easy. But uh, I post a lot on. Pa I'm pa I post more on Patreon. Uh, I don't know when the next live will be. Stay tuned on Instagram and uh, and Patreon too. Patreon is where I announced this time. I'll probably announce it on Instagram. This was supposed to be an uh, uh, an experiment, so I didn't announce it too big. I just kind of wanted. But uh, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, hello from Berlin. Oh, I'll be there soon. Actually, Maurice. Uh, so we'll, we'll see. I'm actually I'm looking into Berlin and uh, stuff like that. But uh, all right. Any other questions? Patricia, you're doing a great job. Thanks for helping out with all that. Um, Guadalupe. Guadalupe. Um, subscribe for eight months. Thanks, man. Thanks. I want to see. I can't find your sister on Instagram. Nurse Trish. Patricia, this person wants to find you. Alexis Nicole wants to find you on Instagram. Um, yeah. Oh, and thank you. Thank you, Aaron, for the for the Venmo uh, donation. Very nice. Appreciate it. Uh, very nice. Any of you guys want Venmo? It's Tom DNYC. I'm just repeating stuff at this point. I'm sorry. I feel bad, now, but I'm trying to answer questions, too. Uh, start an ambulance chasing live gig. Yeah, well, maybe one day. Turn off the camera. People need to go to the bathroom. All right. Fine, Scott. Good Lord. I'll get off. Tour of Harlem very soon, actually. I'm actually setting that one up, too. Got a couple little surprises with the Harlem tour that I'm going to videotape as well. It's going to be very cool. Oliver, Queens native. Love it, man. Thank you for supporting. Love it. That's what makes me music to my ears when people from New York love the videos. Uh, thank you. Gracias por tantos datos. Algún día lo hago en español. Te lo prometo. No se preocupe. What's this to perform recently? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm really gonna sign off now because, uh, uh, yeah, it's crazy. People are really looking at me like I'm a psychopath. Once again, you guys know all the stuff. You guys know. Tommy NYC, Patreon, Tommy NYC, Instagram, and please, please subscribe to the channel. 
Um, that's a real, real help. What video am I most proud of? I like the ones where I get to highlight, um, where I get to highlight uh, people the best. I love interviewing people. One of my favorites was the uh, Trash Museum, actually, with Nelson Molina. Uh, you should look that one up. That was a really cool one. That was a very big victory to be able to interview him and tour the Trash Museum, which I thought was very cool. That's one of my favorites. Um, and on the, the walking videos, I like a few. I loved Ridgewood. I loved Greenpoint. I thought Greenpoint was a really fun one because um, uh, the things we talked about and the people I interviewed. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for being around. Um, I will do this again, I promise. Please, at the very least, just subscribe to the, the YouTube and to the Instagram. That's where I will let you guys know uh, about the next one. And uh, yeah, man, we did it. When will I go live next? Not sure yet. I'm gonna look into all the equipment stuff. I actually gotta talk to uh, Ken about how to do this <laughs> better. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, We'll see you later. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, see you later. Sick.